Assalamualaikum to Miss Maizura. Uh, today we will present about our market and stock analysis. Uh, our chosen sector is transportation sector. Our main topic here is will the transportation sector make a comeback? The chosen company for our analysis is GDAX, Syscorp, AirAsia and Litra. Okay, first thing first, let's start with the comparison of FBM KLCI versus Bursa Malaysia Transportation Index. FBM KLCI reflects the overall performance of the company in the stock market, while Bursa Malaysia Transportation Index reflects the company from the transportation sector. As we can see in the chart above, FBM KLCI and Bursa Malaysia Transportation Index have quite similar trend, hence making them available to predict for each other price movement in the future. FBM KLCI and Bursa Malaysia Transportation Index have been showing bearish trends since early 2018 until early 2020 when the stock market crashed due to political turmoil that happened in Malaysia and the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. Both index in the early 2020 then make a rebound at the strongest support finding the nearest resistance until now. We move to the next company of transportation which is AASIA Group Berhad. This is the technical analysis of the company. As we can see, technical analysis chart shows that AASIA Group Berhad has a downtrend pattern started from July 2019 due to the pandemic COVID-19 that affected the AASIA need to slow down their operation. There is a huge drop of price early in January 2020 until March 2020 before the pattern is going to the sideways pattern. At the end of 2020, the price is increasing even though it is not as high as before to recover the losses for the investors. The volume of AASIA Group Berhad is also increasing in early January in 2020. As an investor, we can foresee the price will recover soon and will increase soon as a vaccine is being introduced. We continue to the fundamental analysis of AASIA which is show that the investors cannot pay more than the shares of the company because they see that the profit they will earn is decreasing for 3 years in a row starting in 2018 where the EPS in 2018 is negative 11.80 and slightly increased to negative 11.50 and drop in 2020 as negative 25.50. As for the return on assets, in the three years, the company did not manage its asset efficiently to generate the sales as in 2018, the company has 9.1% which is still good but did not manage to maintain it as it dropped in the two years later with negative 1.4%. 1% in 2019 and negative 14.77% in 2020. Next, the return on equity of the company in 2018 is not 6.35%. The next year, they got negative 8.65% and the next year, 2020, it is still decreasing until negative 72.82%. It also shows that the company failed to increase the profit from the money that their shareholders invested. The dividend that company can give to the shareholders also did not impress. As for the year of 2020, there is no dividend to pay out to the, share, to the shareholders. While in the last two years, the amount of dividend is showing no rising as in 2018 is 12 ringgit and the next year 2019, the dividend is only 1 ringgit and 2 cents. Alright, now I will continue with the next company which is GD Express Sendian Brahat or known as GDEX. 
for the technical analysis, the chart show that GDAX has two major trends. Literally, the price is bearish, which is the downtrend from the middle of April 2019 until the early 2020. It is due to severe problems in economic factors. However, the trend started to go bullish in late of March 2020 until early June 2020, and it may be affected by global pandemics such as COVID-19 that has impacted uh, mostly all the country in the world. Thus, the period of MCO has encouraged the online shipping platform, express delivery service, and also the logistics. Within late uh, June 2020 until end of 2020, the chart showed that swing trend that is suitable for swing traders, which is they can clearly capture the momentum of support and resistance in that swing trend. In early November 2020, uh, they show a breakout pattern in which the price went above the resistance level and continued to be sideways after a short period of breakout. Alright, for the fundamental analysis, we compare uh, within 3 years, which is from 2018 to 2020. For the return on asset, which is ROE, this company shows uh, the low performance in managing its profit on each investment in 2020, which is the ROE is dropped to 2.85% from 5.543% in 2019, while the ROE shows an increment in 2018, which is 4.561%. Alright, for the return on equity, which is ROE, this company reached 5.254% in 2018 and continues to increase to 6.774% in 2019. Um, however, in two, uh, 2020, the ROE dropped almost half from the 2019, which is 3.836%, um, that showed the company unable to generate more profit on its sales by their asset. And the company also unable to increase the income or profit for the shareholder. And it's proof this company is less efficient at creating profit in order to generate increment in shareholder values. Okay, uh, based on the data and information from Gili Express and the Amber Heart, GDX, we can analyze the highest earning per share EPS is in 2019, which is reached until 0.00576 cents, where in 2018 the EPS is just 0.00419 cents. However, in 2020, it shows a drop of EPS, which is to 0.00329 cents. Okay, and lastly, for the dividend per yield, DY, of this company, it showed the decreased trend, which is in uh, 2018, the dividend is... Uh, 0.96% and it's dropped to 0.70% in 2019 and it's constant, it's constant until 2020 because the company has lower performance in generating its profit and practically the dividend decrease when the stock price is increased. Moving on to the next company, Litra, or also known as Lingkaran Transquarter Holding Sedia Merhat. The company made a huge gap up in mid-2019. The price failed to form a new higher high and a new higher low above closest resistance. The price then has huge drop going to the strong support and then rebound to the nearest resistance. Overall, for the year 2019 and 2020, the company's share price moves in a sideways pattern. For long-term investment, there is no clear trend for this company. However, short to medium traders, can participate in the trend in a smaller time frame. The average volume shown in the chart above is also similar. There is no huge spike in volume above the average volume except when the gap up happens in 2019. The current share price is moving in sideways range and no confirmation if the price is breaking up or breaking down. 
Moving on to the fundamental analysis, we make comparison in three years, which is from 2018 to 2020. Based on our analysis, the track shows a decrease in revenue throughout the years. In 2019, the government freezes to rates that affect 21 highways. This is to lighten the citizens' burden of their living costs. The return on equity has been decreasing for the past three years, and it shows that the company's ability to grow the company by using equity to generate profit has been not effective. However, the truck company has the highest return on equity over three years in 2020 in the transportation sector. The return on asset ratio is increasing every year. It concludes that the company's strategy in using its total asset to generate profit has been successful. In 2020, where MCO happens, there is a drop in traffic volume and it shows that the total revenue is affected. For earning per share, earning per share for Litra increases in 2019 by RM0.073. However, the profit generated from each share decreases in 2020 by RM0.013. It means that less dividend paid out to shareholders and higher market value. Litra issues constant dividend in 2018 and 2019, which is RM0.25. However, in 2020, it decreases by RM0.15. The investors receive lower dividends and it will show less attractive in the perspective of the investors. Catalysts use current low interest rates for the existing debts for Litra. Okay, let's move on to Xinyang Shipping Corporation Berhad. Based on the technical analysis, uh, this price chart shows that it has three major trends. The price bullish uh, from early 2019 until early 2020 where the price started to change trend and um, crash to the strongest support due to the economic factors and global pandemics. The trends continue to be bullish after rebound in early April. This chart shows that the stock price has a clear trend which are suitable for mid-term to long-term investor. Clear trend uh, indicates that um, this share price has strong momentum and suitable for swing traders. The average volume is the same except uh, for when the reversal happens in early April. The current price is currently moving uh, in a sideways range uh, near resistance waiting for a confirmation on breakout. Fundamental analysis based on the three years analysis from the year 2018 until 2020 we can analyze that the company um, Revenue started to decrease. In 2018, it was 2.03% and it started to drop. Um, for the uh, profit, shows that low earning per share is not good for a company because the company is not profitable and less profit to distribute to its shareholders. For the return on equity, um, it also started to decrease when the company has low ROE less than 10%, it means that uh, the firm is not effective in producing profit. Um, it means that the management clearly cannot make good use of the investor's capital. For the return on asset, return on asset uh, shows the declining numbers for the past three years. It means that when the company has low ROE, it means that the company unable to evaluate full use of its asset um, to produce further revenues. Um, this firm has not announced any distribution, so there are no dividends. From our analysis, we can conclude that from our fundamental view of these stocks, uh, it all say that the company performing poorly. Hence, we suggesting them to sell it instead of buying. For technical, we are suggesting that for existing shareholder, they should hold and wait for confirmation. And for new investor, it is not suggested for them to enter the market for transportation index for this four company. That's all from us. Thank you.